Hello, and welcome back to Batankaito's Origins, where we have just survived an encounter with a Machina Arma, thanks to some timely intervention, and now we've got to get to Furcad. So, hey, look, it's Furcad. We're there. Uh, we had a little bit of trouble with the Machina armor. I'm sorry, sir. We weren't able to stop Promachination in Sadal Sud. I see. Another Machina armor? Yeah, it... it was... more of a... It, it wasn't an actual vehicle this time, which was interesting. Yeah, that's right. Yes, sir. At this rate, we'll never stop them. That's all right. Come on back. You can give me a detailed report once you've returned. Okay. I have another mission for you as well. Good work. All right. Let me guess. I knew I knew it. Callous, isn't he? I almost died, and he says good work. Huh? You could hear him? I have good ears. Good ears? What are you talking about, Dingbat? Show me where you have ears. Yeah, I'm kind of interested as well. And please, you almost died? What would a dumpy puppet like you know about dying? Sadi, that's it. She's due for an eating. You have, have to, to let, let me. me. I, I can't, can't take, take it anymore. Uh, sorry, but no. She's too useful. So let's go visit the shop and see if we can use any of this light powder we've still got. Oh, never mind. Well, I guess we do still have some. Not much, but some. Hopefully it'll still be light powder by the time we get in here. Yeah, let's read the letters. Because while, well, actually, yeah, hang on. I don't think things can age while we're in menus in this game. But as long as I can't be certain, I should treat things as though they can age while I'm in menus. So it looks like we can upgrade a ray of truth using some light powder. That raises the attack just a little. All right, let's do it. So that's about it, huh? Oh, we can upgrade it with rotten food to make a heat club ca cause poison. Might as well, we haven't done that yet. And it goes in the gathering. And specifically the food that rotted was our cooked burger thing. Which is sad. So what does upgrading an element do? Ah, it adds blindness to the one attack. That's not amazing. I trust we're going to get better dark stuff to upgrade at some point. Hopefully the dark powder won't just go away. And was there anything we wanted to buy here? Not really. So now let's read the letters. Valuable info? Oh, a mid-season sale? Oh, neat. Now, is that actually a real thing? Oh. Oh, okay. Neato. Oh, Giacomo.
Oh, is it? Oh, okay. So, uh, he wants to become a spiriter? Uh, yes. Yes, I was, Palolo. Oh, good. Oh. Yeah, maybe. All right, let's get out of here. And then hop on the... Wait. What are you so upset about? Uh, give them to me? Can I have the apples? No? Okay. So, yeah. Let's hop on the Sphita. Make our way back. Alfard we go, because Alfard is the name of the continent, and Mintaka is the city. That's right. Okay, now we gotta make our way through Mintaka to Greater Mintaka. Because they couldn't well put the port closer to where we need to go frequently. That would just be absurd. here and here we are so Sadal's suit has fallen as well the machina vanguard has forces in both diadem and Sadal suit now which leaves but one continent Anui Nui. their queen the fairy guide Corellia is not an easy person to win over oh what does your guardian spirit think, sir? Mm. She says it's essential we secure the fairy guide's help. It would certainly behoove us to try. The queen's assistance could turn the tides in our favor. Sure could. Exactly. Sagi, fly to Anue Nue. I want you to start by finding out Corellia's stance on pro machination. Roger. Understood, sir. I'll meet with Queen Corellia and see what she has to say. Good. I'm counting on you. So off we go. Oh. Well then. Hooray! Always great having more slots. Could have used them earlier, though. So we're actually about to hit disc two in this game. We're a good portion of the way through it. Though not quite as far through it as we were when we hit disc two in the original Baton Kaitos. To wit, we haven't gone to basically everywhere it, that you can go to with the exception of Core Hydra, because that's the point at which the discs swapped in Baton Kaitos one. Pretty much. 
And we're actually going to stop by Sebelrai before we go to Inue Inue. Because Disc 2 opens up with a boss fight that can be very, very hard. And Mountain Apples make things easier. And we should be able to actually get Mountain Apples from Sebelrai now that we've seen the whole things that were done. Blarg. So unfortunately, it will take us a little bit of time to get back there. So, yeah. We just get to run around for a bit. And then we go down here. And yes, now people are out of the way of things, so we should be able to grab apples. Right? Except the apples aren't on this screen. This is the screen they were on in the original Baton Kaitos. Where are the apples in this game? Are they in here? Have you got any apples? Oh, they got some cow milk. We might as well take some to age. And yeah, let's draw a second cow milk. Okay, but for reals, where's the... Where are the apples? I need apples. Are there apples in here? I don't see apples. Are these apples? No. Might there be apples in here? I don't see any apples. We're supposed to be able to get mountain apples from somewhere in Sebelrai. But where? Apples? Is this a crate of apples? No. Oh, look. More pow milk. We don't need more pow milk. Aha! We've found a crate of apples. Just gonna grab as many as we can. I don't know exactly what their effect is, but I know that they're supposed to make combat easier when you have them. Probably raises your HP or something. So many apples. So many apples. Okay, we can't have any more apples. Oh, hey, the powder does turn back light. That's good. So, what do mountain apples do? Um, okay, it doesn't say. But looking at our HP, I think it's HP. All right. Let's make our way back to the Sphida. Because we need to actually get to a new Nue. Wish I could skip this little scene. It's really unnecessary, but the most I can do is pause it. Which doesn't help. Alright. To Anue Nue. Where disc 2 will start. All right, so it's requiring us to save because it's going to be changing discs. 
All right. So yeah, game disc one complete. Back in a flash when we'll have disc two in. All right, we're back. I knew I knew it. Wow, it's been years. I haven't been back since I graduated from school. Oh, that's right. You've been to Anue Anue before, haven't you, Millie? Uh-huh. I used to attend the School of Magic here. I thought you said you were a sheltered girl who had never seen the outside world. Well, I was. My trips to and from the school every day were chaperoned. And where were the trips from? Like, did you come all the way from Alphard, or...? I traveled by ship. But they never let me look outside even once. Wow, jerk move. All I saw were my bedroom and the school. Room, ship, school, ship, room. That's how it went every single day. That is unpleasant. Oh. Hey, um, Millie? What's school like anyway? I wouldn't really know. Poor, uneducated Soggy. You just study a lot. I mean, there's more to school than just that. The School of Magic is supposed to be for people who care about continuing their education. But I wasn't like that at all. Sure, I did the work and learned the lessons. But what I really wanted was to see all the things I'd read about with my own two eyes. So I ran away. Maybe you didn't want to study, Millie, but I'm glad you did. Huh? I mean, you're super smart, and that's been a huge help. R really? You think I'm smart? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Please, stop, stop that offensive, offensive giggling. giggling. Uh-oh. What was that? It's a dark service patrol ship. All the way out here? Can't we shoot it down? No, miss. The speed is not equipped with a weapon system. We'll just have to try to outfly them. That's not good. Damn! They knocked out the propulsion system. We're going down! All right, just don't go down in the hollow, hollow jungle, okay? Can't get out of there without the right kind of stone. Uh-oh. Okay, so we can save here, but first let's talk to Gilo. And how's Millie? Everybody's safe. Where are we? Hey, hold on. This is the hollow, hollow jungle. It sure is. Oh no, this is bad. Really, really bad. 
What's wrong, Milliard? Is it bad? Shut up, Dingbat! Seriously, what's wrong, Millie? Is this place dangerous or something? They say that even the most seasoned travelers get lost in this jungle. You need this rock called the Landmark Stone that's been bewitched by the headmaster of the School of Magic. Otherwise, you can never escape! I get it. Hmm. That is bad. Yeah, just a little bit. How can you be so calm, dummy? Go ahead. Go ahead, kick back while you rot to death. But I'm not ready to turn into hollow hollow compost. You got me? Uh, okay. Why don't we calm down a little? I'm sure there's a way out. <gasps> oh no, oh no. Was that a hollow hollow bird? We can't let it find us or else. Oh, hey, look, it found us. I think it found us. But look, it's carrying young. Doesn't that make it a friendly bird? Why do I bother getting mad? The hollow hollow bird carries its young when it goes hunting for food. Oh. Which means it's hunting for food right now! Stop arguing. This isn't the time. Get your Magnus ready. Probably should have saved before talking to everyone. I thought it would give us a chance afterwards, but oh well. We get to fight the birds. So we'll start off by getting rid of these chicks because getting the number of enemies who can attack us lower has tended to be a pretty safe plan thus far. Sure is a pecky little jerk. Whoa there. It's uh, a little too much wind there, buddy. Can we actually take our turns, please? Also, can we, like, find some weapons? I know I've got them in the deck. There's a weapon, and also some healing. Okay, since this is Gilo... Oh, do you just lay new eggs? I guess we gotta kill them before they hatch. Thankfully, they don't hatch immediately. And Millie's got a weapon to equip, so we won't have her do the healing either. Asagi now has a weapon to equip as well. But he doesn't have any attack cards he can use, so we'll go ahead and have him heal. Um, Kilo, you can use Twin Ice Auger on that egg. Okay. It's looking like it might be better to just go for the big bird rather than the eggs. Kilo could use some health. Oh, great. We're falling down again. Kilo might die. Kilo's dying. Okay, not quite yet, but... Almost certainly before we can actually get this potion to him. Yep, there's something going before Gilo. We'll still give this a shot. Hopefully whatever's going before Gilo will target not Gilo. Okay, good. And let's give some health to Millie. 
So it looks like Gilo could also use it. I just got rid of a good weapon in exchange for a weapon that's also pretty alright, but honestly probably should have kept the other one for more hits. Kilo's about to die and I don't have anything I can really do. Yep, Kilo's down. Okay. Can... Can you stop? This is bound to hurt. I need to do some triage here. You birds are making it a little difficult. Alright, pick Gilo up. Soggy, heal yourself. Okay, Millie's still alive. That's good. And Gilo almost goes right back down. Yeah, let's get some damage out here. We don't have anything to heal with, so we just gotta kind of hope we don't get dead. And Gilo got dead and I missed the three there. Well, now we've got access to some healing. Hopefully we last long enough to use it. May my blade be sharp. Bird looks like maybe it's not doing so hot. Okay, Soggy, please heal yourself before you die. Okay, he's going before the bird. At least before the big one. Hopefully he doesn't get... Hopefully no one gets killed here. Nope, she's down. Okay, Soggy is alone. That is very not good. Thankfully he's got some health. Oh, but then there's more of this, so he's going to fall down. Okay. Okay. Stop it, birds. Okay, we need to just get everyone up and hope that we can use numbers to our advantage. Don't kill Saki. Yeah, leaving the little birds up does result in a lot more incoming damage than you need. Okay, please let Gilo survive long enough for that heal to get to him. Ah, dang it. Nope, there goes Gilo. So that potion was wasted. I hate that you can waste potions like that. I wish you could have it retarget to someone who can actually benefit. And it looks like we lose. Yep, that's a loss. Okay, you can stop. You can stop. She's dead. You lose. Come on, birds. All right, we'll try again. Uh, let's let's change our decks just a little bit. I don't know what elements these birds are weak to, but. I do know that we we need to change something about our approach. I'm guessing maybe fire is good against them. But we don't really have much good fire to use. I could put these red Padmas in for Soggy. Instead of the Ice Bloom and Rhyme Blade. So we can do that. Um... And then Millie's got nothing for fire. But what she can do is replace Emerald Thrush with... Maybe Lightning's good against him. So let's do 7-star Dust. 
And let's actually get rid of these arabesques, even though multi-target to get rid of the little birds might be a good thing. Let's get rid of those, add another seven-star dust, and then I guess I need to resort things. Sort by type. Okay, so I guess it sorts them by level ones and level twos, etc. So we'll put that in for Millie. Oh, Sigil Cry is a level two ice thing that hits multiple targets for Gila. That could be useful at some point. But for now, we actually want to get rid of those. And in their place, a couple of Imperial wildfires might not be terrible. And those get to play with Firewheel. I wonder what I'm supposed to use in between those for comboing purposes. EX comboing purposes, specifically. And then we'll get rid of all the equipables. And let's find some strong stuff. So that's 50, 25, 18. Okay, we'll take that Kusanagi. And I guess the Marvelous Sword is still the next best thing. Though, don't I have a better sort of thirst? 53.25 versus 50.25.18. If it wasn't durability 5, it would be much better. Yeah, I think we'll keep the Marvelous Sword. And then for Millie... Get that Drake's Head Stav... And I guess Poison Heat, or... No, let's get this Luciferous Stav. And then for Gilo, do we want these Meteor Sophias? They are high damage. That much is for sure. Though actually some defense items might not be terrible because the little birds, but then again, with how many times they peck, they would just tear through any armor. So armor would probably be wasted anyway. So let's give this a shot. All right, and we got a weapon right away for Soggy. In fact, we got two. Um, let's go ahead and toss a Fates Cordial for now. And we'll toss another Fates Cordial real quick. Uh, skip Gilo, because Gilo doesn't have a weapon. Do that. Bring Gilo back. And toss that, because... Eh. Alright. So now we're poised to actually have Millie take a kind of okay turn next. We're going to need to pay attention to how long it takes for that little bird to respawn. Because, yeah, it might be a good idea to just get rid of both little birds. Because they do add a lot of damage. Um, let's go ahead and heal Soggy for now. Okay, the eggs pop out real fast. Um, I guess, uh, let's target the egg, see if we can't break it. Okay, Gilo needs a little help. Yeah, I don't know how much it takes to break an egg. But if we could do it, it would be nice. Looks like it's going to hatch right after Soggy's turn, though. And we didn't get it. So, I guess just ignoring the eggs and the little birds might be the best for us. Because we don't seem to have the cards to really support anything else. Okay. 
And we are now at a dearth of weapons, which doesn't help. We really need to level up our MP, but we don't have what we need to do it. We need more cards that we can use. Don't die, Gilo. Like, seriously, that bird almost pecked Gilo to death. And I bet, like, once the Hollow Hollow Bird goes, Gilo is just gone. Yep, there goes Gilo. So let's bring him back. Thankfully, the other two are still pretty healthy. It's looking like fire might not be the right choice. Yeah, lightning is definitely the element to use here. So now we know that for if we lose again. Please keep Gilo alive long enough to... No, don't, don't! Okay, good. But you all... Nope, Gilo's dead. And there go all those cards we told Gilo to use. Dang it. That would have been a lot of damage. And of course, Millie's heal arrives too late. Okay. Can you please stop? Bad enough when they do it just once. But then they do it three times in a row and knock them down. And there goes Soggy. This is. And there goes Gilo. We're losing again. But hey, now we know Lightning is good. Clearly, it's better when you've actually got a Lightning weapon. I should have used the Fate's Corazel, but then again, she's dead before she gets to take her turn anyway. This bird is a jerk. You lose. Tell you what, that's going to be it for this episode. Join us next time when we will beat the bird. See you then, friends. <laughs>